Hi, here we have the equation in which we are going to find out x1 y1 and x2 y2. Let's start. We are going to name the equation that is 1 by 1 and this is 2. I am going to solve equation 1 first. Now I am going to take this radical y to the other side. Now I am going to square both the sides. In this expression, I'm going to connect by this algebraic formula. X is equals to nine minus six radical y. This and this cancel. So, y. Now I'm going to put this y to the other side. I'm going to name this equation that is number 3. Now I'm going to solve expression 2. So our expression 2 is less than the solution. I will take this vertical y plus 3 to the other side. Now I'm going to put the square root both the sides. The square root and square root in cancel. This I'm going to open it with the algebraic formula. a minus b whole raised to power 2. So it like this and radical y plus 3 plus this I'm going to cancel it out so we get y plus 3 I'm going to arrange this, taking this side to the other side, and this plus 3 minus 10 radical y plus 3, and this y I took it here. This is our equation 4. Now I'm creating equation 3 and 4. 23 minus 10 radical y plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 6 radical y. Let's start the solution. I will take this 9 to the left hand side and this that radical stand to the right hand side and this y value to the left hand side. So 2 plus 6 radical y is equals to 10 radical y plus 3. If you can see that carefully, each expression can be divided by 2 easily. Dividing to both the sides, the value we got is 7 plus 3 radical y five radical y plus 3. Now I'm going to take in square root both the sides. Going to solve out with the formula a plus b whole square that is a plus b whole square to a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b. This turns to
Here I uh, squaring this five and this radical separately. Now I'm going to solve this. Now this seven becomes give you forty nine. This give you twenty. This give you forty two. This give you forty two radical y plus. So we have this and this cancel. This sends to 39 plus 42 radical y plus 91. And here is expression chemistry 25 y plus 3. So as I multiply this 25 with this, so we got 25 y. 25 3 times then you it now i'm gonna take all these terms to the left hand side 49 minus 75 and then plus 42 radical y plus 9y and this times to minus 25 right is equals to zero so here I got minus 26, here 42, radical y, and here plus minus minus 16y. If you see carefully, each expression is easily divided by 2, so I'm going to divide the each expression by minus 2. So I got this cancel out minus twenty one will become plus well, here minus sign of the here because here twenty five is bigger. Minus minus cancel, so I got eight y is equal to zero i'm going to rearrange it now in this equation you can see that here we have a radical to handle this radical i'm going to suppose one letter so we can say that a is equals to radical y and p power 2 is equals to y. Now I'm going to plug in the radical y with k and y with k square. 8 k square minus k. Yes. Now in this step, I'm going to factorize this 21. Here I take 8 square minus 8 k and minus 13 k plus 13. Now I'm going to put in this in the bracket and taking the common value from here. From this, I'm going to take 8 here. So here we've got a minus 1 minus 13 a minus this minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I can write 8 a minus 13. A minus 1 is equal to 0. So 8k minus 13 is equal to 0. K1 is equal to 0. 
So this eight, a, this we can do the other side times to thirteen over eight, and this one is a is equals to one. So this one I'm going to consider as a one, or this one two. This depends on you. Now we have a2 is equals to y. So here I'm going to write it this a1 raised to power 2 is equals to y1. Here a1 value is 1. So 1 raised to power 2 is equals to y1. So y value y1 value what is 1. I'm going to find out the k2 value the same way. k raised to power 2 base 2 finding the value of k2. So here I'm taking the y2. Here we have the k2 value that is 13 over 8. So now I'm going to plug in and the k2 value is equals to y2. So we got 169 over 64 is equals to y2. So here we find out the value of y1 and y2. Now I'm going to find out the value of x. So here from expression 3, I'm going to write one equation that x is equals to 9 minus 6 radical y plus y. Here I'm going to find out the value of x1 by taking the value of y1, that is 1. That is, this is x1 is equal to 9, 6 radical 1 plus 1. So, x1 is equal to 9 minus 6, the radical Square root of 1 is 1 plus 1, 9 minus 6 plus 1, we got 0. So this is our x1. And the same expression, I'm going to plug in the value of y2. That is 169 over 64. So I'm naming this to x2 9 6 over 64. So easily solve. 13 two times in this 8 two times we use 64 169 over 64 minus x2 is equal to 9 minus 313 times 39 over 4 plus 169 over 64. Okay, I'm going to take the LC. So that is 64. And it's not the same. 64, 9, 10, 10, 10, 5, 76 minus 6. So 4, 16 times give you 64. So 16 multiplied by 13, you got. 
So I got 121 over 64. So this is our x2. Our final answer is 7y1 that is x2 y2 that is over 64 and what is 169 over 64. This is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.